We'll begin with a few questions from the media. Steve, your line is now live. Thank you. And Leandro, I heard before your fight with Sean Bunch that your Bellator contract was coming due for renewal. So how important was it for you to get that win and to get an impressive finish in the win? Father, fala a importância de sua última luta contra Sean Bunch, que porque foi o último luta no seu contrato. Fala a importância de essa vitória e vitória com um highlight finish. É, foi muito importante, né? Tava vindo de duas derrotas, né? Tava um pouco um pouco pressionado por conta do das duas derrotas que eu sofri, sofri as duas derrotas, uma derrota por Caldera, outra por por Pico. Foi muito importante fechar meu contrato com a finalização sobre um, nome, um grande nome aqui dos Estados Unidos. E isso aqui já ficou para trás e agora o novo lento está tá surgindo. So it was real important for me to get a victory over one of the, uh, a big name in the U.S. Uh, in Sean Bunch. And I was coming off two losses against some of Bellator's best and Darren Caldwell and Aaron Pico. And it was very important for me to get back on the right track and against a big name like Sean Bunch. And, and here we are now. And speaking of people fighting the best of the best, it is a similar situation with Ricky Bandeas where he had back-to-back -back losses to Patrick Mix and Juan Archuleta. So it seems like you guys are both fighting the best. How does it feel to now be fighting each other? I've been fighting the best of the best since my first day in, in Bellator. I fought for the title and I've been fighting uh, at the top of Bellator since the day one. And uh, there's nothing to worry about who, who, whoever my opponent is. Um, I'm here to be the best and, and you guys will see that on Thursday. Donna, your line is now live. Hey, Leandro, Donna Corby here. Uh, the first question I wanted to ask was yeah, about uh, Ricky, but Ricky Bandejas himself. This is a fight that I've been calling for, a lot of people have been calling for. Do you think that he's, obviously you fought champions, you fought Darian Caldwell, of course you, you, you fought Aaron Pico as well. Is Ricky, though, one of the toughest tests of your career? Você é luta contra os melhores. Você acha que Ricky Bandeira é um dos uh, exames mais casca grossa na sua carreira? Nunca. Já lutei com caras bem mais fortes, bem mais preparados que o Bandeja. O Bandeja é um grande atleta, mas não chega no, no, nos pés dos caras que eu já lutei. Não, um, eu fui the best of the best, e esses caras são. Those guys have shown how good they are, and um, Ricky Ricky hasn't doesn't present the same as the, some of those champions that I fought. They, he doesn't hold a candle to them. Eric, is that you back there? That is me. <laughs> I want to hear both of your opinions on this one. What did you think of James Gallagher the other night? Okay, Mr. Ashley, the the James Gallagher, outra noite. Rapaz, eu lutaria com James Gala nos dois. Cara, James Gala, ele, falou, ele colocou numa entrevista que lutaria com qualquer um do Bellator. Depois dessa minha vitória de terça-feira, eu quero ver se ele vai lutar contra qualquer um mesmo, de verdade. He said that uh, after that victory, he said he wants to fight anybody in the division. I want to see after my victory on Thursday if he's willing to uh, be a man of his word. What do you think, Eric? I think uh, I think uh, for the easiest fight in the division for Leandro Ego would be um, James Gallagher. I'd prefer a title shot, but those guys got something for each other. So <clears throat> anytime the Pitbull brothers go.
goes against SVG, you're going to see a massacre, and that's always good for TV. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you very much, bro. Connor, your line is now live. Hi, Leandro. How you doing? Go ahead, Connor. Okay. Uh, the last fight, you shared a card with uh, Patricio. Now you get to share the card with Patricky. How much does it impact you knowing that you're sharing the card uh, with Patricky this time around? Última vez você compartilhou, lutou com Patrícia no mesmo evento e agora Patrick fala sobre esse uh, impacto um, nesta vez você lutar no mesmo card de Patrick. Isso, isso aí a gente ia lutar no mesmo card, não na tá escalado para Dublin, mas alguns problemas não deu certo e a gente está sendo escalado aqui no mesmo evento. Uh, sempre um dos Pitbull Brothers Vão lutar, o impacto vai ser grande porque é sinal que vai ser selvageria. Selvageria, só que é isso? Selvagem. Brutal. Selvagem? Sim. Tá, ok. So, so we, we were scheduled to actually fight on the same card in, in Dublin uh, on our um, <clears throat> planned invasion of Conor McGregor's team, SVG. But, uh, because of COVID-19, everything was moved around and we're fighting again, just on the same card, uh, but not against those same opponents. And it's always good to fight on the same card as the, uh, as the Pitbull brothers because uh, it's the savagery is, uh, becomes present uh, during fight week. Yes. And uh, you, you talk about COVID. Obviously, that has set a lot of fighters back, but you haven't fought for over a year now. What has been your biggest takeaway from that year away from the cage? Por causa da COVID, você não lutou em uma, um ano agora. Mas o que você aprendeu em esse ano fora do jaula, fora do octagon, de graça? Sim, aprendi a esperar, ter paciência e que tudo vai acontecer no momento certo, na hora certa. I've learned to, to wait and wait for the right moment and everything's going to happen at the, at the right time. That's what I learned. We have time for one or two more. Chris D. Santiago, go ahead. Hey, Leandro, uh, you know, Bantamweight division is stacked, like I said earlier in my interviews, so, but, uh, you know, we have Brett Johns, Sergio Pettis, Juan Archuleta. Uh, is there a dream fight that you're looking forward to in the bantamweight division right now? Qual é qual luta você queria mais luta dos seus sonhos nessa divisão? Minha luta dos sonhos sempre vai ser a do cinturão, né? Eu trabalho todos os dias para ser o campeão e eu creio que depois dessa luta e eu tô tô um passo a mais no na divisão para poder disputar esse título. So uh, my dream fight is, is always about being the world champion. So whoever's got the belt, um, that's, that's what I work for every day uh, of my career is to become a world champion. And th so th that's, uh, that's, what, that's always going to be my dream fight. And after this Thursday, I'm going to be one step closer to making that dream come true. Muito obrigado. Obrigado, falou. Sim. And our final question here comes from Lenny March. Lenny, your line is live. How's it going, Leandro? How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So you've uh, been fighting since 2006, and you fought all over the world in the Ultimate Fire, in your native Brazil, RFA, LFA, the list goes on. And now finally, we're at Bellator. Mm -hmm. What would it mean for you to get the belt and become world champion in Bellator? Você lutou em todos os eventos, todo mundo. E se você... Legend. I've become a legend. Yeah. I, I, I've been a I've been champion in every uh, organization that I've entered, and this would add to that uh, to that legendary career. Mm -hmm. this, would be the, this would be the cherry on top. 
Yeah, in your last fight, you snapped a two-fight loss streak. How important was it for you to get, to get back on track and get back in that win column? A última luta você venceu depois vendo de dois derrotas. Qual foi a importância dessa vitória? Tirou um peso bastante grande das minhas costas, né? 22 derrotas. E me levou para um caminho diferente, né? Mudou a água e creio que eu vou permanecer muito, muito tempo nesse caminho da vitória. Onde eu, permane- onde eu mereço estar. So it was a. Uh a lot of weight that, that was taken off my back by uh, winning the last fight of my, having to win the last fight of, of the contract. Uh, that way I could evolve now into the, the, new, the new fighter that, that I'm gonna show you uh, come this Thursday.